I love coming down the corner of our property and just brainstorming and thinking up ideas. And today, I wanna to talk to you about solar clipping. Do we get solar clipping in our solar system that we have installed on top of our building back there? Well, spoiler alert, yes we do. Am I concerned about it? Well, first, let me explain what solar clipping actually is. So first we need to understand what is solar clipping. Solar clipping occurs when the solar panel is producing more than what the microinverter can convert. So I should probably explain what our system actually is. It's 27 370 watt S energy solar panels and 27 in phase IQ 7 plus microinverters. And why that's important is because our solar panels are larger than our inverters. Our inverters cannot convert more than 290 watts continuously, right? But our solar panels are rated at 370 watts. Well, they'll never see 370 watts in the real world conditions. That's probably more like 90%, around 330 watts, somewhere around that range. And when you put dust on top of them and just different elements that happen, we may not ever even see 330 watts. So sizing an IQ7 Plus with a 370 watt panel is pretty much an industry standard, but I wanna show you guys that there is steel clipping with these solar panels and the microinverter setup. So it does take a little bit to wrap your head around all this solar clipping and all these terminology that you get in solar, but it's truly not that difficult. And I'm gonna go to the computer and I'm gonna show you what solar clipping actually looks like on the Enphase Enlighten Manager. So let's take a look at this week, the last seven days. And we're gonna really focus in on September the 30th and October the 1st. But I want to make sure that we're looking at this from a broader perspective as well, like over seven days. We had two days that really clipped. The other days did not. But we want to talk more about these two days. So let me zoom in here and go to custom range. We'll do the 30th and then the 1st. Get a little bit closer. Something that's important to understand with Enlightened Manager is it only takes a data point every 15 minutes. So you'll see right there it says 1.30, 1.45, 2 o'clock. And even if we come down through here, 5.15, 5.30, 5.45, and so on. So we only have a data point every 15 minutes that takes a snapshot at that time, right? So we know that we clipped right here because it, it literally maxed out production at 7,912 watts between 1 30 and 2 o'clock but right before it at 1 15 we don't know what happened at 120 125 or even 122 it could have got up to that 79 12 and we were peaking for a little bit longer than what we can see at the data points but we know for sure we're peaking for at least a half hour now something that's important to note is that the solar panels currently are very dusty so if we're peaking when the solar panels have dust on them could you imagine if they were under perfect conditions where we would be having more production out of them but the iq7 pluses just can't convert what the panels are putting out so am i concerned that we have that little bit of clipping absolutely not because we would never be able to recoup the investment for those IQ7As or IQ8As that it would take to put those in. That would have cost me an additional $2,000 to $4,000 depending on the one that I actually went with. The IQ7As would have been a cheaper version, but IQ8As would have required me to put in a different combiner box, just different equipment. So it would be impossible to recoup that with that little bit of clipping that's happening. It would have been a bad investment.
Hopefully you found value in this video. And if you did, please make sure to smash that thumbs up button. It really helps me out a lot. And if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to the channel and make sure to tap that little notification bell. So when I put out new videos like this, you get notified. I'll catch you guys in the next project.